Greetings ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Gamer King Tar Heel video review. Today we're going to review Hot Shots Golf for the PlayStation Vita. Now, if you're not familiar with the Hot Shots Golf uh, general franchise, you may look at the graphics and look at the artistic style as uh, being over the top, and it looked like an arcade-style golfing game, kind of like Virtua Tennis is to tennis. Uh, but underneath the wacky characters, the skimpy outfits that would never be allowed to be anywhere near a golf course, or the roid-induced uh, male characters, underneath all of that uh, cartoon over-the-top aspect is one of the best golfing, true golfing simulations that you can find on any kind of console, and especially the the best one you're going to find on any portable device. Now there are two main modes in Hot Shots Golf and the first one we're going to discuss is the stroke mode. Uh, stroke mode is kind of like you're going to the golf club by yourself. Uh, you're kind of competing against yourself, uh, you're solo on, the, on a golf course by yourself and Hot Shots Golf does a great job of keeping uh, records of everything you do so you actually do feel like you're competing against yourself you know your best score you've ever done on a hole you know your best drive you've ever had on a particular hole you know your longest chip, your longest putt uh, your longest, as I said, your longest drive. All those things are kept for you and are readily available and thrown in your face uh, quite a bit. So if you're lining up for a very long putt, it'll tell you, hey, this is a chance to break uh, your individual record. And at the end of the end of the match, you get your scores as well. So it, it's a very compelling way to keep playing the game on all the different courses that you've unlocked. The next mode we're going to discuss is the challenge mode. Here you're generally put up in different challenges in the game, uh, usually uh, tournaments, and you'll have to play on a specific course, a specific 9 or 18 holes, um, generally with little gimmicky challenges like playing in a gale storm or playing with unlimited power shots, uh, and you have to beat uh, a level of competition, and when you do beat those level of competitions, you gain a star, so you have to win the event to gain a star, and once you earn enough stars on certain levels, you'll be able to go into a match play uh, event where you'll be able to play one-on-one -on -one against another character uh, and once you beat that character in the match play you will then have the option to purchase that character from the in-game store. Hot Shots Golf World Invitational is also one of the few Vita launch games to use online play in true head-to-head -head mode and also in daily tournaments. Uh, daily tournaments allow you to play in three separate tournaments each day uh, and they're kind of like a daily leaderboard so you can see how you stack up with the rest of the world. No matter how you decide to play Hot Shots Golf, it's the golfing uh, mechanisms under the hood uh, that really make this game lasting and fun to play. Uh, yes, you can have the, the good old times of grip it and rip it and uh, just pointing it towards the flag and uh, giving it all you got, uh, but the true skill in the game can be found uh, through people who are going to be able to adjust for wind, uh, adjust for pin placements, and be able to put the proper spin on the ball. Uh, those players who know when to lay up and when to go for the middle of the green instead of just going at the flag all the time, uh, those are where the, the true uh, skill is going to shine in the game, and that's what really gives the game uh, the depth. You can always do better in your score, and you can always continue to try to get better and uh, master a course. Now, there are some issues with Hot Shots Golf, and... My main one is the course linear difficulty. Uh, I, I just The courses go from easy to very easy to medium to hard to very hard. And I, I kind of wish that there was um, an, an in-between where it was kind of like each course had its own easy or hard or easy, medium, and hard uh, difficulty mode. You can do that kind of stuff easily by adding wind or putting in different pin placements and stuff like that. Uh, so, you, so you kind of feel like the the early courses aren't worth playing because you're you know you're shooting 16 under over 18 holes, and the harder courses can be uh, very very difficult, and you get frustrated shooting six or seven over. One thing I feel that Hot Shots Golf is missing is a single player tournament mode. Uh, the challenge mode uh, is fun and, and can be very fun, uh, but I wish there was like a, a single player uh, weekly tournament mode where you played multiple tournaments and multiple rounds uh, and were able to collect points, uh, kind of like kind of like a tour mode. Uh, the challenge mode, for all its uh, skills and positives, uh, can be kind of frustrating because it's all hit and miss. You either win the gold star or you fail, and real golf isn't like that and golf isn't like that. Uh, sometimes you have bad days and I just wouldn't like to have to start all over just because I hit in the water on one single hole. Overall, Hot Shots Golf is one of the best Vita launch titles that you're going to be able to find, and one of the best simulation golf titles you're definitely going to find on the console. Uh, it, it provides great longevity from unlocking characters to leveling up characters to leveling up equipment uh, to unlocking courses. There's tons of do, and the, the mechanics behind the golf is excellent. If there was a playtime timer for my PlayStation Vita, uh, two years from now, uh, I bet it would say that Hot Shots Golf is probably the game I played the most. It's a game that I play every day, and I can totally see myself playing it every day for a while. So if you have any uh, hankering to play uh, some portable golf, uh, I don't think you can go wrong with Hot Shots Golf. 
Well, that's it for the review, guys. Hope it helped you out. As always, leave me comments. Let me know what you think. And uh, hit that like button. Hit that sub button for future content. I'm always posting new videos. So that's it. King Tar Hill out. Take care.